Two of Cincinnati's firehouses are among the top city buildings being called obsolete. One of them so old it doesn't have a dedicated sleeping quarters for women. Nine on your side, Tom McKee is live with how this impacts firefighters and you. Tom? Well, Tanya, this is the list of the five most obsolete and inadequate buildings owned by the city of Cincinnati. The firehouse here for engine 49 in Madisonville is on that list. So is the firehouse in Pleasant Ridge for engine eight. Both are decades old and really can't handle the needs of today's firefighters and fire equipment. This is engine 49's firehouse in 1910 with horse-drawn fire wagons out front. This is what it looks like now, virtually unchanged. It lacks separate quarters for women. A year ago, a firefighter was bitten by a bat there. The city says it needs $2.2 million in upgrades. A replacement would cost twice that much. It stands to reason, you know, you can't, you can't have a building that was built in 1910 be able to support a modern fire truck from, uh, from 2017. This is Engine 8's firehouse in Pleasant Ridge. The city says that efficiency and firefighter safety cannot be improved at that location. These are fire stations. These are as basic as you get. This is not um, some luxury item, some want. This is, a, this is a must. Both facilities have been on the city's top five obsolete list since 1996. Firefighters Union President Matt Alder saw that list for the first time on Wednesday. It's alarming and it's extremely frustrating. Cincinnati City Manager Harry Black says it's a matter of too many projects and not enough dollars. What we'd like to do more, do we need to do more? Absolutely, uh, but we're doing the best that we can to optimize the resources that we currently have available to us. Despite that challenge, Black says this to the firefighters staffing engines 49 and 8. Our employees will work in safe, clean, healthy environments. They may not be the most ideal, in terms of physical uh, uh, structure, but they will be safe, clean, uh, and secure. Alter thinks that things have to change soon to better protect the public and his members. Are we able to provide as efficient of a service as possible, and are the firefighters able to be as safe as possible based on the condition of the firehouse, and the answer is no. Well, I asked Alder whether firehouse conditions contribute to things like cancer or breathing problems. He said that's very hard to pinpoint given the nature of firefighting both inside and outside of this firehouse here and others like it across the city. The others on that list, the municipal garage, the uh, West Fork incinerator, and of course District 5, which we've heard about, which is getting a new facility along Central Parkway. Tom McKean, not on your side, live in Madisonville.